All right, well, we are at Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne today. It has been a while since we've been here. This morning, Andrew brought the truck and trailer over and picked up our beautiful mid-century modern cabinet that I had purchased about a month ago. It's been sitting here and I've been like, can you go pick it up? Can you go pick it up? Can you I've been nagging him to come and pick it up. And so he finally came over and picked it up and it's going in my office, which is getting framed out today. So exciting, I cannot wait. Um, but anyway, we are here today to see what we can find that we can flip for a profit because you can never discount antique shops. And I always say that, it's the truth. It is the truth. There are deals to find at the antique shop. So here we go, Let's see what we can find. All right, so I spotted these cups back here, which were kind of fun. Cups, I should say, the cup and this, is this one? Yeah, Wedgwood. Oh, this is Wedgwood. Kind of reminded me of Bunnykins, but, and then I saw this. Kangaroo cup. Is that a boo-boo or is that paint? I can't tell. But it's Fitz and Floyd. I'm not sure how much the Fitz and Floyd cup goes for, but I think I'm gonna look up the comp on this. Um, so cute. But yeah, I recognize this as Fitz and Floyd, so I decided to grab this. And down here, what do we have? Oh, look he here. All right, so this is 29. I don't know if we can do that, but that is so cute. The little kitty handle. So they kind of look like Campbell's soup kids. Adorable. All right. So kangaroo. I think that is just paint on his nose. That is not a chip. All right. So I looked up the kangaroo, and the kangaroo sells for about ten. So I don't think there's enough profit there for us. But that's a good buy for somebody just walking in and saying, "I want a kangaroo car." So and it is thirty percent off even. So you know it comes out, but. I just don't think there's enough there for us, unfortunately, but it is a really, really cute mug. Now here we've got some Andrea by Sadik. This is worth talking about. This cute little bunny right here is a fishnet design. I've seen a lot of people find this and think that it is Harend. Um, Harend makes this fishnet style, but this is not Harend. Um, and Andrea by Sadik usually has stickers. So a lot of people see this and think that they've found um, horrendous because the stickers are long gone, but definitely just Andrea by Sadik. All right, so I don't typically buy things out of this case because usually the prices are right on point, and they are. Wait, what is this? Six dollars and eighty-eight cents as found. I mean, you see a little. Wait, no, that's just, yeah, maybe there's a little crack on that one. But anyway, I was more focused on this piece back here for $49.95. I love the contrast of the orange and the black. It is so perfect for Halloween that I might even not be able to sell it. I might have to keep it for myself just for Halloween because that is amazing. But I'm definitely going to be grabbing that. All right, so it looks even more stunning outside of the case, but I did notice there were a few flea bites here on the lid. Um, very, very tiny chips. Look at that. I love it. So I'm gonna grab this. Not sure yet if I'm gonna sell it or not. It's like the most perfect Halloween picture. Um, but we'll see. This piece down here has got a bird on it. Ooh, $10 for the set? Salusia. It's got a bird on it. I think I'll do that for 10. All right, so we've got 29 on this piece. It is blue frit. I'm sure that's not how it's pronounced. Um, it's a rose bowl. It's got gold in it. Um, it's 29. I feel like I can get 65 to 75 for this, so I can double my money on it. And it's just very pretty. I'm loving the colors on this, so I think I'm going to do this for 29. I'm going to grab that. 
Ooh, I see a pretty bowl. I think we're gonna take it. No cracks, no chips. Just to figure out where to put the potpourri. Hmm. Alright, there we go. Look at this. It's a beautiful fishy. 35 is usually a little bit more than I pay for the art glass bowls, but because this one is shaped like a fish, I'm paying up a little bit for it. Usually my limit is $25 to $30. I don't normally go over that, um, but I am going over it today because it is shaped like a fish, in case anyone was wondering. by Eric Tini. Women edition. She actually, um, hi. She actually is our um, third Great Dane that we have rescued. Okay. Oh my God. So if that's something Great that you Dane rescue, hi. If that's something that you promote, that oh, would yeah, that would absolutely. make my heart very happy. You're a rescue, mom. You are so sweet <laughs> and big. <laughs> What's her name? Hannah. Hannah. Yeah. You get your movie star award. Yeah. Every. <laughs> Hannah. What rescue? Uh, well, she. So we. Our first Great Dane came, came from Mid Atlantic Great Dane Rescue, okay. and they actually have a Pennsylvania chapter. And then Hannah came from a private rescue group in Catlett, Virginia, called the Chance Foundation. It's a privately funded rescue group. Yeah, look at the pretty lady. Come on. Hi. She's like, and we're done shopping yet. <laughs> <laughs> this tri corner dish is only 15, but it feels like it's kind of sloppy to me, and so I'm going to pass for 12. I think I said it was 15, it's only 12. I can't read today. prices it is good price but um not for resale so i had spotted this got cute little salt sellers but unfortunately it's 60 for the set so as darling it is is as it is i can't talk as darling as it is, I don't think we can do that. Goodness gracious, we've only got two things. Well, hmm, except for all the stuff we have up front. We've only got two things in our little basket. Two lonely pieces in our basket. Let's keep going. All right, so I've kind of worked my way into the back booth here. Now they do have a radio playing and it is quite loud. Um, but I am admiring this cabinet right here. It does have a sold slip on it, so it is sold, but just the knobs are just amazing. The entire cabinet is so nice, and I don't need a cabinet, but if I did, it would be that one.
So up here there is a Moriage Dragon piece. I do like it, but I have a teapot that I'm still meaning to list, so I decided to pass on that. Got a little Sankai horse up here. Um, I think it's a modern horse. It is marked on the bottom. Still a good price. I like the little doggy light. Thought that was cute. Now this piece was just outstanding. Um, it had this really nice celadon glaze uh, and it was marked on the bottom. The price was $120, which I just couldn't do, but I just thought that it was a really, really nice piece and so did my birds. So then I noticed this Italian vase down here. It is marked made in Italy. Um, it's got a price of $17 on it. Um, it does have an original sticker there. Uh, now the booth is also 20% off and I decide that I will take the Italian pottery. There, there's another dragon that is just amazing. Now there wasn't actually a price on this one, unfortunately. I would have loved to have known the price, but that probably isn't something that we would want, want to ship. Now here we've got another piece. Um, I believe this is Italian as well. Unfortunately, it's got a, a chip there on the edge, which is kind of a bummer. And judging by the way they have it priced, I don't think they realized that it had a chip on it. Um, so I did turn that so the next time they're in the booth, they could see that that does have damage on it. And here we've got a Dragonware vase. And they wanted $12 for it. It was 20% off. I was kind of back and forth about this. The marking didn't look terribly old. So I decided I would come back to it. Now over here I spotted these two stone owl bookends. They were super heavy. But I loved the, the design and the lines of them, and so I decided that I was going to do the bookends. Now here we've got an owl as well, and I've actually bought and sold these before. I had bought one from Goodwill and sold it a, quite a long time ago, but um, I always find those owls to be fun. This is another piece of Italian pottery. It is really nice. I like the glaze on it. This Moriage vase is very ornate. I liked that. And finally, I circle back to the Dragonware vase for $12. It is 20% off, and so I decide that I will just take it with me. This is dumb, is it? Oh, it's it really caught my eye. These elephant cream pear. Ooh, I like they did that. They put pear on that one. Absolutely. I put my Citizens Bank thing in there to like cushion things. That's how desperate I am to cushion things today. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, so 
a pretty little purse. Oh, what is this one? Micro beaded. Yeah, it is. Goodness gracious. Micro beaded. Hand blown vase sign. Oh, what is it signed? I want to know what it's signed. I'm going to turn off the camera to pick it up. All right, well, unfortunately, it is signed Rainbow Glassworks, and it is priced right on point. Actually, it's, it's a little bit low um, for what it's worth, so it is a good deal. But um, there's not enough there for me to make a problem. It's still a good price for it. They usually sell between $15 and $25, so they've got it priced at $12. That's good, but it's not for us. So we're going to keep going. Keep going, even though my camera's about to die. No. Great, so this booth is 50% off. And we've actually gotten some really good deals out of here before. But that's got a bird on it. Whatever it is, I'm not really quite sure what that is. It looks kind of like a dinosaur, but I don't know. shelf here oh it's a chair back shelf that's what they call it I just love the work on the back it's kind of hidden behind the bird but it's really ornate I like it got a little raisin man $40. All right, so we are going to peek around in this booth right here. It's just got some really nice planters in here usually, and I always like to take a peek at the planters. Ooh, look at this one. Hager, what? It's <sighs> Hager pottery. It's such a bummer about this. I'm going to set my cart down. My elephants are rolling all over the place. This guy is like speaking to me too. And this little guy, oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna take this with me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take him because he's eight dollars. I'm gonna stick his little, his little succulent in there. He's just darling. Got a little chippy chip, but I'm actually thinking of buying him just to put my own succulents in. So whether or not he gets listed, I don't know. But we will see. Hmm. It's quite nice. How much is that? $14.95. Tempted. I'm tempted. Let's see what else is lurking here in this booth. The little bluebirds of happiness. I love bluebirds of happiness. They make me happy. I think that's the intention though. Bridge. I think it 
is possibly. I don't know. I cannot tell. Alright, I think we're going to take this load up front. Ooh, looky what I just found. It is $18. And there doesn't appear to be any discounts on this. I can't tell if that's a crack there. Or if that is... Nope, that's a manufacturer's defect. But this is stretch glass. Goodness gracious, we've been on a roll lately with stretch glass. Um, it's $18. Again, I don't see any discounts here, but I love the purple. So that's fantastic. Let me grab this. All right, so I actually have to run out to my car to grab my other camera, but I figured now would be a good point to split this into part two. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to continue it tomorrow for a part two. Too, so I hope you guys stay tuned for that um, but I guess I'll see all of you guys tomorrow later my family calls it my superpower it's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook <laughs>